first thing we're going to talk about is this. You know, video game movies suck, and, and they have for, for a very, very long time. But then along came this movie a couple years ago with Alicia Vikander called mm -hmm. Tomb Raider. They rebooted the Tomb Raider series. And it's like, okay, well, let's see what they do. I mean, they got an Academy Award-winning actress in it. Awesome. She has great boots, too. She has what? Great boots in that movie. I'm, I honest, I'm glad I double-checked. He hit that T. He hit that T. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. He, yes, had great <laughs> boots. And she does. Uh, also, Why would you like, think I meant? Pre previous to the movie coming out, I remember them like dropping social media videos of her in the gym and like getting ripped to hell and all that kind of stuff. And, and great. And but how's the movie gonna be? You know what? The movie wasn't bad. It was no. like one of the first comic book movies that I actually walked out of going. You know what? That that was not bad. I mean, it wasn't great, but it's it's not bad. You know what? I would come see another one. And they said then that the plans were to do another one, but then delay and delay and delay. And now apparently, well, there's going to be more Tomb Raider. It just ain't going to be with Alicia Vikander as it's being reported now all across the interwebs, including on The Hollywood Reporter, that MGM has lost the rights to Tomb Raider, which Aww. means that Alicia Vikander's series and franchise part of this, that iteration is now done. But whereas you might think, well, no one's going to try to pick up on this, according to reports, that ain't right at all. Apparently, everybody from Amazon to Warner Brothers to Netflix to Paramount to everybody is it, it the Hollywood Reporter is calling it a feeding frenzy. Now, at first I thought, really, a feeding feeding frenzy for Tomb Raider. But but when you think about it again, what is it that we know? With all the companies now putting out content, all the streaming channels and all the studios fighting to get out premium content and all that kind of stuff. What is the most valuable thing in the world? Recognizable IP. Mm -hmm. Even if it has a little bit of a sullied name, recognizable IP is a big deal. And I think them doing this. And so, yeah, I think we're going to hear within a few weeks, somebody's going to snatch up for a huge amount of money this, this franchise. And then I think we are quickly going to hear about a new movie going into production, a new part of the franchise. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this? What stands out to you? Well, I have to say, I mean, I, I like this version of Tomb Raider more than I liked Uncharted, which, uh, you know, so did I. same kind. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought she was really good in the role. I agreed. I, you know, yep. I, I thought she brought a, a believability. She was spunky. She obviously got in good shape to do it. I believed her. And I, I would be sad if they made another Tomb Raider movie without her. With I think Alicia, Miss Vikander deserves another shot at the another bite at the apple, so to speak. But you know, I like, I like the game franchise. I liked, I liked even I liked the first Angelina Jolie, uh, movie. Yeah, the first one wasn't bad. Not so much the second one. Not but, so much the second one. And I, I, I know that this all it all it's all a derivative of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I get all that, but I still I like this franchise. Chris, what stands out to you? I mean, how many people want this IP, which I think is really, really fun. I love that people are just kind of fighting for it because the last few games in the last few years have been brilliant. Looking at like the younger Laura Croft. I know you played a lot of that. It's such a fun Raider, game. Right? You like that one. I love I love the new uh, yeah. Tomb Raider series. It's, it's oh, yeah. the best it's been so it's far. It's so good. I wasn't it's, as big on the third one, but the first and second were really great. They're really, really fun and really intuitive. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's very easy to get through everything. Well, not easy to get everything, but it's easy to learn how all the mechanics of the game are supposed to happen because y'all know I'm a remote thrower. So if I don't do well <laughs> at a game, I'm like, this is bullshit. Wow. But I thought that Vic Hander did such a good job of being that kind of Lara and I really, really enjoyed her. So I'm hoping that we do get her back, but hopefully all these people fighting for the IP means that we're going to get a really cool end product out of uh, it. Can I ask something? Why do you always have to bring up Uncharted, Rob? What's wrong with you? <laughs> It Ray, wasn't Ray is the lone you. Uncharted defender in the studio. Okay, look, <laughs> it had nothing to do with this. <laughs> I have to say I'm a huge Uncharted fan. I, my my relationship with Uncharted, the video game, the first video game was such, it was the first time I realized that cinema and gaming was coming together in an interesting fusion. I was as involved with the characters in that first Uncharted and the later games as I was watching a movie. And I didn't think that would happen. And when it did, I was taken aback and I expected... The Uncharted movie needed more of a sense of wonder, <laughs> the same way it was like when you play the game and you come up to these beautiful. Right, but I, I, I we can't take time to go back and do a full exploration of, of Uncharted right well, now. But yeah, yeah but I'm very sad to hear that Vikander's not probably won't. Yeah, I'm, I'm do sad the to role. hear it too. I want to see a second one, but I get it. A new studio is going to come along. They're going to want their iteration. They're going to yeah. want to start with a clean so, slate. I get that. So their job is to get everyone on board again because we we've, yes. we've had a couple of these already. Now we got to. 
get used to a new Lara Croft. Yeah. Croft. Sorry. Yeah. So I mean, and I know you're a remote thrower. Yeah. I am not. I am not a remote. That's because you apparently have a big bag of weed and bongo drums. Well, you're too chill. Because here's here's my thing. Pretend this is a remote. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is me though, because I'm worse. Like oh. you're a remote thrower, but I'm worse. Okay. Your head's gonna get loud, isn't it? I have no. I am, <laughs> like this is me playing a new video game, five minutes, and not quite like having a hard time with it or having a difficult time with it. After five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And then I never go back to the game again. That was me. That was <laughs> me <laughs> trying to play. That was me trying to play God of War. Like, I, I watched uh, the cutscene, like the eight hour cutscene movie. Love to say, I'm going to play God of War now. Five minutes. And it's like, no, this is, I'm not getting it. So put turn it, down, it on walk first. Away. That was me day turn one. Turn on the, the PS5 on. That was me day one on the John Campia show. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't get it. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Did you like the Alicia Vikander? I mean, it was kind of mixed. I think like half the people liked it, half didn't. I'm, I'm one of the ones who thought it was okay. What do you think about it? Now there's being a feeding frenzy. All the studios want this IP. What do you think? Jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. You know, in the age of social media, you might think that everybody's life except yours is perfect because everybody always posts the best memories, the most glamorous shots. But you and I both know that's not how life is. We get pitched some serious curveballs and sometimes it seems like a lot of them. And you know, we always encourage each other to get out there and to get into better physical health, going to the gym and eating right. But it's about time we started paying more attention to our mental health as well. And that's where our friends at BetterHelp come in. Because see, BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional therapy done securely online, available to people worldwide. You can log on to your account anytime and send private messages to your therapist, or you can schedule weekly or phone-only sessions if you're one of those people that's not really comfortable being on camera. And getting therapy every week is as easy as just a few clicks on your laptop or phone. It is time to invest in your own mental health, and BetterHelp is a great way to invest in yourself. And right now, they have a special offer for all of the John Campia Show listeners to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Campia. That's 10% off your first month of online therapy at BetterHelp.com slash Campia.